Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Makes Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've just come back from the cinema, to which if you want to see my thoughts before this film and my first impressions for after this film, then go and check out my vlog, which is currently uploading. So fingers crossed that will be up before I go to work so then I can connect the two together. <laughs> but yes, so this is now my full thoughts on the film I've just seen, which is Lightyear. So let's get into it. Okay, so just a quick little plot summary. Um, basically, the gist of it is this is the film that Andy watched in 1995 to make him want to buy the Buzz Lightyear toy. Simple as, that's basically the generic thing of it. And they do say that at the beginning, which I quite enjoy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the plot of that film is basically Buzz and Hawthorne, his buddy, his space ranger buddy, um, end up getting stuck on this planet and he's trying to get them off this planet. And by coming up with this jump star thing. <laughs> um, but every time he goes, time goes forward. So it's a year, two years, stuff like that. Um, he ends up going back. He ends up going too far too often. And basically, he's come back to a time that's completely different to how it should be. And he ends up meeting this ragtag group of people and he basically just wants to put things right. That's just basically the gist of it. I won't say any more than that because I do try and stay spoiler free as much as possible. But yes, yeah, so this, this is basically, like I said, this is the film that Andy watched growing up that made him want a Buzz Lightyear toy. So of course, this time around, um, Buzz Lightyear is voiced by Chris Evans. To which I think he did a really good job. I mean, not going to lie, I did miss Tim Allen. But at the same time, Tim, Al Tim Allen was the voice of the toy. This is the actor for the film. So I think Chris Evans did a very good job. Really enjoyed his character in this. He definitely played Buzz very well. Um, if you've watched the original Toy Story, there are some lines at the beginning of the film from Buzz that you would recognise. Which I actually appreciated, especially since I grew up with Toy Story. Um, but my initial thoughts going into this, I was a bit concerned, like with any film in a franchise that I either grew up with or enjoy, I do feel a little bit hesitant because I do want them to do well. And they did. I actually ended up really enjoying this film. I will say my favourite character was Socks. I absolutely love Socks. <laughs> Such an adorable thing and I just want my own one. <laughs> I know, it's weird. Um, but no, I ended up enjoying this film more than I thought I would. I enjoyed the side characters, both from Buzz Lightyear's original crew to his new crew. Um, Socks was the best addition to the film, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, Buzz was done really well. My only issue I will say I have with this film, which puts it down a little bit for me, is the whole thing, there's a plot twist near the end of this film and don't get me wrong, I like the plot twist because I didn't expect it but at the same time afterwards I thought about it and it just didn't feel like it should have been that way, I don't know if that's just me um, but that's my only nitpick really, it's just that little bit there um, the animation is very beautiful, I love the outer space stuff and I enjoyed the plot, I thought it was a very good plot, especially like I, like there's this time jump scenes which I thought was very well done. And yeah, just overall this was a very good film. I would definitely watch this again both in the cinema and at home. So if it weren't just for that little nitpick, I think I would have given it full marks. Um, but no, it was great to see a backstory of Buzz in a weird way. It's kind of like I would like to now see a backstory of Woody. I know we got a little bit of it in Toy Story 2, but I would like to see what made Andy want to have Woody in his life. Just little things like that. And also I would have liked to have seen Woody act like Buzz. 
when he first comes to life. I'd love to have seen how he dealt with that. But um, no, overall, this is a very good film. I'll definitely watch this again. A little idea, though, I don't know if this is just my random thinking. Ignore me if so. Or if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Um, but because this is the film that is basically what made Andy want to buy Buzz Lightyear. So this is the film that he watched. So we're watching the film that he watched. I think what I would have liked is it for it to be hand-drawn animation or at least classic animation instead of full-on CGI like it is. Like, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the CGI. Like I said, it was beautifully animated. But I think that would have made it a bit more sort of like fun, I think, if they'd done it that way. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's because I'm nostalgic, because obviously I was born in 1995, so, you know, my year. Uh, but I don't know, maybe that is just me. Maybe it's just my random thoughts. But I think I would have liked that in some way. I know the newest generation of kids probably wouldn't. But I think that would have been quite fun. <laughs> um, but no, so my final rating for this film, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, just because, like I said, it's just that little nitpick about the last part of the film with the twist. But aside from that, it was really enjoyable. I'll definitely watch this again. Would it be in my top 10 of the year so far? Most probably. I've still got quite a few films to watch and catch up on, so not really sure how close it would be would it be in my top 10 of the pixar films i'm not going to say because i'm going to be doing a pixar ranking so yes i'm currently working on it i'm trying to get through all the films and um, so there will be a ranking of that and also a ranking of the toy story franchise so keep an eye out for those two to see where i position lightyear in those but yes yeah, so i really hope you enjoyed this review of lightyear if you did then do give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, then hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your thoughts on Lightyear. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Are you like me who was a bit conflicted about the twist at the end? Or are you like me that, like the whole hand-drawn animation idea? Probably not. I'm probably on my own with that one. <laughs> um, but no, I really hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.